All right, people, here is the deck profile for the Dark Magician deck. So the Dark Magician is off. Uh, it's been here for two months, and I've had plenty of fun with it, but now it's off and being replaced by ninjas. Okay. So, anyway, going to go ahead and do the deck profile for Dark Magician. At the same time, the video first uh, tag duel with ninjas will be going up, so enjoy that. Thank you guys once again. Anyway, Dark Magician. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty good deck. With there's, with there's all of its new support, it's fairly strong. It, it's definitely a deck that plays during your turn. And there were some cards that I would like to put in the deck that I didn't get a chance or to try out. Uh, since the deck got taken off and then these cards got introduced and revealed as of, uh, respectively. So I guess I'll be talking about them. But, uh, it's a, it's a slow-paced deck. It kind of plays during your opponent's turn and you get plays done. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. So, run Triple Dark Magician, of course. Dark Magician is the key card in Dark Magician. Uh, two Prisma with the two Summoner Monks of Prisma. Go ahead and send Dark Condition. So revive it as a Great Rabbit Eternal Soul. Also, his name comes Dark Condition, so you can have that Dark Magic Attack and fuck your opponent up, and it's just wonderful. And then Summoner Monk, and there's a nice chunk of spells. I totally don't mind using Summoner Monk, Pigeon of Spell, Summoning Prisma. Prisma, send Dark Magician. Go into Dark Gusto Emerald. Emerald, summon back Dark Magician. And then banish with Circle. But we'll get to that. Uh, we run two Magicians of Black Illusions. I don't like Magician of Black Illusion. I personally do not like him. I think he's kind of annoying. But, uh, you know, if you can get him off, especially with Circle, he's okay, I guess. Uh, two is the perfect number. You don't run three he's too much of three, and you don't want to run one, because then you'll see him all the time in number generator, so two. Uh, his name is Dark Magician on the field, so that's nice. Uh, when your opponent, uh, during your opponent's turn, when a spell trap is activated, you can go ahead and summon him, and then if you have Circle, you banish. That's nice. And, uh... While well, his cards on the field, you uh, activate spell trap. You can then target the dark mission of graveyard summon. So he has his place. He's decent. It's just sometimes he is just so useless. It's not even funny. So and uh, three magicians rod, great card. Definitely three. If you summon it, you get to add a uh, spell trap that lets dark magician generally circle or or eternal soul, whatever. So it's definitely great. Uh, you can also use this the second effect, which I don't think I've ever used. That during my opponent's turn, when spell is activated, I can tribute to spellcaster monster to get him back to hand. I don't think I've ever used that effect the entire two months that it's been on daily duels. Just that first searching effect is all really all I want. Everyone, one uh, illusion magic. Uh, it's a pretty good card. It's not necessary all the time, but it's nice when you have it to go ahead and tribute to spellcaster to get two dark conditions. I don't know why you'd ever want more than one. Get two dark conditions from your deck or graveyard, I guess. But why would I want to get dark conditions from a graveyard? He's fine in the graveyard. I don't, I don't need him in my hand, you know. So yeah. So, just one. That's all you need. Uh, one itemize. I don't think I've ever played this card the entire two months. I mean, it's in there. I can go into Dark Pile and it's just never get it. Uh, I was thinking about maybe... I was playing at a higher number. I believe I was playing at two, but then I never got it. So, I dropped it down to one to see if I could number generate it. And I never got it. And I never did Dark Pile and plays the entire time it was on Daily Duels, which sucks. But, uh, still, it's pretty good. Uh, you can go ahead and debate on that. I'd probably say maybe, maybe around, like, two copies. So, And, of course... Three Dark Magic Circle is the the best card. Like this is this card is literally the reason why you uh, why you would run Dark Magician. Uh, you look at the top three cards of your deck and then reveal one that lays Dark Magician spell or trap added to your hand. It's great. And then pretty much uh, whenever a Dark Magician is normal or special summon, you target a card your opponent controls and banish it. This is during either player's turn. So you literally can just be like, all right, during your turn, Eternal Soul summon Dark Magician. Dark uh, Dark Magic uh, Dark Magic Circle banish. It's so good. Like. You get Dark Magic Circle and the game gets rolling. Like you, you're not, you don't have Circle and Dark Magician deck doesn't really do too much. So, and two Pod Duali because the deck is kind of slow sometimes. Sometimes it's literally just summon Rod and get a search. So, well, the Pod Duali, but we'll go ahead and talk about that card demise too because you can run card demise in this deck as well. Uh, three Insta Fusion despite the Norden hit. You know, Norden can go ahead and summon me Vicus Emerald. Well, summon me a level four like one of you two, or yeah, one of you two. Then go into Emerald or any rank four really, or even you know Raf or anybody. Uh, Emerald, some back dark condition, you know pursue, and then of course because we're still doing a three and to make sure we get it, we run one thousand hours straight just in case. It saved me one, save my butt one time. So two dark magic attack uh, gets kind of cloggy at three. You don't need, especially when I'm running triple twin twister, which I feel is a more reliable card because at least I don't have to have dark magician on the field. But this card's super powerful. It's like, hey, you have a dark magician on the field. Hit him with a Harpy's Feather Dash, that's fair, so, yeah. Triple Twin Twister, because pretty much all the decks that are currently, that were passed on Daily Duels, uh, ran Triple Twin Twister during the time that they're there, so power. Uh, Rikaki, because Rikaki ran these, because ran these. Three Eternal Soul, because it's great, especially some of the Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard. And, uh, or you can go ahead and add one Dark Magic Attack, I'm not playing Thousand Lights. Uh, I don't feel like it's necessary. 
And then all Dark Magician monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Just power. But the downside is this card leaves the field to destroy all monsters you control. So, risk goes to the reward, but it's just so good. Then triple sound strike, because sound strike, warning, yep, bottomless, yep. Space time, because we have Miss Raph right here. And then two Magicians navigate. It gets kind of clocky. Uh, but I don't like how it says special summon one Dark Magician, then summon the level seven spellcaster, which was the other way around. Then you could probably encourage more of this, so you could just be like, all right, we'll summon him and then summon Dark Magician. But nope, you got to summon Dark Magician. So if you don't got Dark Magician in your hand, you're not doing anything with this. So that's why I was like, no, nah, we don't need three. We'll just cut it down to two. So, uh,. After that, I had Dark Paladin for Ayatomias, then Norden, Thousand Arbors Tricked, um, Flare, which is in case you need burn for game, Big Eyes, because Big Eye, uh, Evan, Illusion Magician, the guy you'll probably go into the most, uh, you know, Detach, especially I'm in a uh, normal spellcaster from your deck, so Dark Magician, and then if a normal spellcaster uh, declares an attack, you target a card your opponent controls, banish it, so you can literally just be like, Detach, Summon Dark Magician, Dark Magician, attack, banish. So the field was changed. If you banish the monster to attack, so you get to redeclare 25, and then 25 for him as well. So uh, then we have one Evan Void Magician. I never made him. <laughs> I never made him. So no Dweller, Castell, Emerald, Rav, Topia, Topia Lightning. So yes, this card can play card divides. You can clearly see there are a lot more spells and traps now, a lot of monsters. So you can literally open up with like Rod in a whole bunch of like back row. Summon Rod. Search, set your back row, play card demise, draw until you get three cards, set whatever else. You might draw into a Dark Magician. You're going to pitch it and send it to the graveyard. That's fine, because you're going to drive it out of the graveyard. So uh, there's not a lot of decks I would recommend playing card demise right now. And it's getting it's, it's a little bit hyped. It's very expensive for uh, the strength, in my opinion. But it, it works in Dark Magician. I definitely recommend that. And, of course, we have the Mahad, the Protector Priest that uh, recently got revealed. So you can play uh, this card as well, another uh, level 7, 25, 21, just like Dark Magician. When this card is drawn, you can reveal it, special summon this card. It'd be cool if it actually uh, treated its name as Dark Magician as well. If this card battles a Dark, uh, dark Monster, its card uh, attack becomes doubled. Uh, its current attack till the end of the damage tap only has power, you know. It's like, fuck your, uh, your Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Like, yeah, bitch, I'm 5,000. If this card is destroyed a battle or sense of graveyard, you can special summon one Dark Magician from your hand, deck, or graveyard, which of course will trigger circle. This would be cool if his name was Trio's Dark Magician too. You could just be like, draw, oh, reveal, special summon. Oh, his name is Dark, Dark Magician, Dark Magic Circle, banished. But, you know, he does have synergy with the rest of the deck, so if you want to play him, go ahead as well. Anyway, there's the deck row for Dark Magicians. Uh, like I said, I was kind of hoping that we get it maybe for another month. I uh, know one of the choices for uh, on the poll was with D Mock, so we could go ahead and do D Mock and dedication and all in great plays, but nope, so that's fine. Yeah, no, no skin off my back. Uh, anyway, uh, go ahead and take deck profile, change job, do whatever you want. It's just for the suggestions. It worked fine these last two months, and uh, it was a fine tag deck, so hopefully, ninjas do something. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys with ninjas and other deck profile tomorrow which will be uh the earthbound marks and i will be playing with bes yes all right people thanks for watching